changes tonight with Hurricane Dorian again, and it is our big picture thinking as we head into the weekend. While we enjoy a nice weekend here, here's my thoughts as we head into the holiday. Dorian has gotten incredibly stronger the last 24 hours. Now a Category 4 hurricane with wind gust approaching 170 miles per hour. But remember, no impacts here in central North Carolina, across the whole state or in South Carolina through the holiday through Tuesday. It's late next week that we could see some impacts. But in the next 24 hours, this storm will remain a Category 4 through most of the weekend and it'll turn more to the west in the next 48 hours. Right now it's moving west, northwest. The impact for the United States, it may or may not make landfall in the state of Florida. It could stay just offshore, but for us, rain and possibly some wind next Thursday and Friday. Today, a great day, thanks in part to low humidity. Yes, we made it up to 90, but that dew point temperature was in the 50s. Now, as we head into the weekend, it'll stay warm, but it's also gonna start to get a little more humid. But here's what your Saturday looks like. If you're up and at them early, it'll start off around 60 degrees at 6 a.m., continuing hour by hour through the day. We have no rain, we have very few clouds. We'll be up to 81 by lunchtime, again, on our way to a high of 90 degrees. That is your Saturday. Now into Dorian. We've got a lot to cover. First, the Hurricane Hunter aircraft, one heading home. There's another one headed out there, but they've been out there all night. They're the ones that found two drastic increases in intensity. Again, sustained winds right now are up to 140 miles per hour, gusting to 165. Pressure's down a bit. Remember, the lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. And again, it's moving very slowly to the west-northwest at 10 miles per hour. The latest computer model still in very good agreement that this storm will continue off to the west heading for the Bahamas. And most of the computer models turn it to the north. The matter of when is still in question, but more of them now turn it to the north earlier, meaning it'll stay more over the ocean. and it. Also, you can see more of the computer models are keeping it offshore. Now, this doesn't mean any impacts. This just means the eye is more possibly going to stay offshore. And the National Hurricane Center, their forecast track adjusted a little to the east tonight, too. But still as a Category 4 hurricane approaching late Monday night or early Tuesday. And remember, in that cone of uncertainty, the eye of the storm and the storm itself could be right in the middle of the cone. It could be farther to the west or it could be farther to the east. All things we need to keep in mind as we head into the weekend. We could see rain and wind as we head toward late next week.